service in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to a lasting life. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who renewed the world through the mysteries beyond all time, grant, we pray, that your church may be guided by your eternal design and not be deprived of your help in this present age. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Lo, I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. Instead, there shall always be rejoicing and happiness in what I create. For I create Jerusalem to be a joy and its people to be a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and exult in my people. No longer shall the sound of weeping be heard there, or the sound of crying. No longer shall there be in it an infant who lives but a few days, or an old man who does not round out his full lifetime. He dies a mere youth who reaches but a hundred years, and he who fails of a hundred shall be thought accursed. They shall live in the houses they build and eat the fruit of the vineyards they plant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will, I will praise, praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I, I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime his goodwill. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with the dawn, Rejoicing. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You changed my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, 
he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son, who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, You may go, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and left. While the man was on his way back, his slaves met him and told him that his boy would live. He asked them when he began to recover. They told him, The fever left him yesterday, about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just at that time, Jesus had said to him, Your son will live. And he and his whole household came to believe. Now this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This morning, a rather simple message. And it's the idea that at this moment in time, as we journey in Lent, of course, yesterday, more or less, mark the middle of this Lenten season, I would invite all of us to think about recalibrating. There's been so many changes that have happened over these last few weeks since the beginning of Lent. And so perhaps our practices don't really fit the world and the life that we're living. Or like so many things, like New Year's resolutions, perhaps now is an opportunity to start again to start fresh this Lenten season. I really would encourage each one of you to think about, in these remaining days of Lent, as we all prepare for Easter, how can I prepare my heart, my soul? What things can I die to? Can I leave behind? And so then allow God along with him, to resurrect me on Easter. Of course, that's what this whole Lenten season is about, about reorienting our lives towards God. So in our own way, in these remaining days, having docility, that's a sign that we have the Holy Spirit, the ability to change, to be flexible, to say, what would be the most useful things for me to dedicate myself to? If I'm going to pray, well, what should my prayer look like? Of course, our church will be open more or less every day from 9 until 3. Or the opportunity for confession. Of course, tonight there will be confession from 5 until 6. How can I take advantage of those little opportunities? Because as we all know, unfortunately, you're all not able to be present here at Mass. But there's so many other things we can do in our prayer life. And with fasting, what things, now that we're more or less kept in our own homes, can we fast from? Maybe not indulge so much in. And then almsgiving. What ways can we give? even if it's not monetarily. Again, one thing I mentioned recently was calling someone up that we might know could use a phone call that would appreciate hearing from us. All these little ways, again, to make this Lenten season fruitful. Today really pre presents that opportunity to us. To take a deep breath, to reset, and to start on our journey again towards Easter. Amen. We bring our needs before the Lord, as the royal official did, confident that we will be heard. For Pope Francis, may he be blessed with good health in his humble witness to the power of God's love for us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For magistrates and mediators, may they be blessed with prudence and selflessness, 
as they strive for fair and just solutions to the cases of conflict before them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer at the hands of others, may the Lord grant them reprieve and bring them justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of believers, may the joy of the gospel be a source of life and life in our daily endeavors. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For health care workers and all those dealing with the sick, especially those suffering from the coronavirus, for their well-being and for courage, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died in the light of faith, may they be brought into the light of God's everlasting presence in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of this Mass, a special intention, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers we hold in the sacred silence of our hearts and unite to the offering of this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you continue to work signs among us. Hear the prayers we offer today through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, O God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. that they may become the body 
and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I will place my spirit within you, and make you walk according to my laws, and my judgments you shall keep and observe, says the Lord. And we pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your holy gifts, O Lord, we pray. Give us life by making us new, and by sanctifying us, lead us to things eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Again, a reminder that there will be confessions here from 5 to 6 this evening for anyone that would be interested. Just, of course, remember to keep the 10-person rule here in church. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, 